thanks to grocery stores and online delivery, a lot of us now are very disconnected from the agricultural process, from the real supply chain. Well, for farmers and serious gardeners, tools like this short sickle are absolutely imperative, especially in places like South Asia, specifically Pakistan, where this one is being made. And it all starts with long billets of steel being cut to size, then heated, shaped, heated again, in a process called annealing. Heating the metal to a temperature at which it's more malleable and able to be formed. Just look at how red hot that is. Over blocks of harder metal, that is to say denser metal, it's shaped. Repeatedly reheated until the form is in the approximate final shape. Still plenty of work to do on this piece. Now that slight curve being added before at the far end. That loop will be flattened out to become a collar piece that can be attached to a wooden handle. Just about thin enough now, hence the mild curve to the top of that hammering block. Working along that edge, flattening it out as much as possible will make the sharpening process later on a little simpler. And at last, the other end. That loop is heated to be hammered into shape and eventually will be flattened and hammered over a rounded section. Another mold fitted and there you can see just how flat it was needed before being hammered into that mold. Now a little more heating and then slow cooled to help harden the steel. While that cools, the handles are formed ground down from pieces of wood one at a time and these experienced hands carefully carving out that shape before sanding down the entire thing. Then underneath that collar connection, a small strip of leather is attached with an adhesive backing. That adhesive backing facing up. It will help to hold that collar piece in place, all connected by a rivet to be driven through, that being shaped now. Checking the depth by eye and then cutting it out. Starting with a notch, then simply bending it over the edge of that rod and snapping it off. Using another mold, the rivet is then driven through a washer that'll keep it from sinking through the wood. It doesn't need to have a perfect point. The corners, though, are flattened. And then it's driven through the wood, the washer hammered down around to grip. At last, the hot sickle blade now affixed to the handle some final adjustments, straightening the blade before it's cooled and onto the sharpening process. And before that happens, it has to be secure. The metal cooled and now hopefully hardened. From there, onto cleaning up those surfaces at first, the join for the collar and the back edge of the blade, not meant to be sharp. Then it's on to sharpening that inside edge. And for that, a push stick used to run it over that grinding wheel again and again. In the end, almost razor sharp, but it doesn't need to be. Filed down just a little bit before the last treatment. And that is to give this blade some serration. This gentleman is literally bouncing that sharp blade over another to create tiny teeth that give this sickle a serious cutting edge. From one end of the process to the other, the making of a sickle.